Hi, Ian here with Suspends. Today I'm assembling the catch-all cart as it comes out of the box. It has five main components. We've got two sets of bunker bar assemblies, we've got an axle assembly, and we've got our two wheels along with some hardware. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off the plastic mounting blocks which come pushed on to the square axle. And now I'll lay down the axle such that the suspends reach properly to me. And I'm going to put the plastic mounting blocks onto the axle. My next step, I'm going to take my bunker bar assembly with the straps that are wrapped around it. And I'll leave them wrapped around for right now. And I'm picking the one which has the kickstand on it. Orient it in front of me with the kickstand facing the inside of the cart. And I just push this down. And now I'm simply going to take two of my T-nuts. You'll notice it's a little harder to put on. That's because this is a locking T-nut. It's got a little piece of plastic inside it called a jam nut. And so that's going to keep this from working its way off when you're using the cart. For my initial placement, what you're going to see right here are scribed yellow lines, are marked yellow lines, which are on the axle. And this is so that you can set your cart up and you'll be able to adjust it to your boat and then you'll be able to find the same adjustment points over and over. And now I'll put this bunker bar on and I'm going to pay attention to the orientation because you'll notice there's a yellow bead at one end of each of these bunker bars. And I want the yellow beads to end up at opposite ends. And when I do that, the suspends graphics on the fabric covers for the pads will also be facing outboard on the cart on each side. And I'll put the T-nuts on, and before I fully tighten it, I will just adjust it so that it's right on the edge of our thick yellow line again. And now I'll tighten both of these T-nuts for use. The last thing we have to do now is put on our wheels. And that's the easiest way to do that is to turn the cart upside down. I've got a quick release pin. Slip my wheel on, and then I'm going to put it in from the underside right now, or from what is now the underside, because that will end up being the correct top location for once we turn the cart back to the use position. And now I just repeat that process on the other side. And now it's time to put on our beach wheels. Now this axle can go in multiple positions for the different types of wheels that go on this cart. And it comes packaged uh, in the correct position for the yellow airless wheels, but we've got the beach cart version. So what we're going to do is take out my D-pin. Notice my two extra holes here. Push it in to get the first of these holes, putting my D-pin in, and then securing it on the top side. And now it's time to put on our beach wheels. Take out my quick release pin, take my wheel, slip my wheel on, and I put my quick release pin back on. I turn my cart over, and I'm ready to load my cart. For this step, we want to adjust the width of the bunker bars to match the bottom of our kayak. The easiest way to do this is to first turn the kayak upside down. I put the bunker bars onto the channels of this type of hull, and I notice the second bunker bar does not fit in the channel. So what I want to do is loosen my T-nuts to allow my bunker bar to slide. I'm now going to get it wide enough so now it adjusts into the two channels and now I'm going to retighten. Every kayak is going to be a little bit different so this is the adjustment that personalizes the cart for your kayak. A unique aspect of this cart are the integral straps which pass through the bunker bars and what that means is that when I pull one end of the strap it's going to pull through the other end of the bunker bar. You'll see in a moment why this is important. The easiest way to load the kayak on the cart is to place the cart near the center line of the kayak. Now rotate the cart so that the bunker bars point right to the center of the stern of the boat. And now I'm simply going to pick up the boat, pivot it, and place the kayak down on the cart. And this is where we notice the unique part about this strap system. Remember that this strap passes all the way through the bunker bar to here. So if at this point I start tightening my strap, what happens is I just start pulling my strap through from the other end. So what I want to do 
is make my second connection. And now the strap is going to behave like one big long strap. Now I can tighten this end. Tighten this end. What's so nice about this behaving as one big long strap is I'm going to put a second kayak on top of this. I've got lots of strap length to accommodate. Now we simply kick up our kickstand and off we go.